Number six says, a 73 kilogram man standing on a scale in an elevator notes that as the elevator rises, the scale reads 842 newtons. What is the acceleration of the elevator in meters per second squared upward? The follow-up question is, why does the man have a scale that reads in newtons? So first we want to write down our knowns. We know that our mass of the guy is 73 kilograms. We know that the, <clears throat> the force upward, we'll just say the force upward, is 842 newtons. Um, and so that's not the total force of just the upward motion. That's the upward motion plus the acceleration of gravity. So, but just think of it as that's the force that we're, we're looking at. And what we don't know is the acceleration of the elevator. So we don't know A. And so we got to do a little bit of adding and subtracting. Because we know that regular, the regular acceleration of Earth is 9.8 meters per second. And we know that the, um, the guy's mass is um, 73 kilograms. And so the, the typical force for that would be a, approximately... 715.4 newtons but we know that it's the, that it's a little bit more so we got to subtract 842 minus 715.4 or the other thing we can do is we can solve for force or we can solve for acceleration first and then we can subtract 9.8 which i think that's probably the easier way to go but you can you can we can go ahead and do this side by side. So this would be um, uh, seven one twenty seven point actually one twenty six point six. So one twenty six point six newtons. Um, one point one twenty six point six newtons. The force equals some acceleration times seventy three. So we divide seventy three and we get the answer. But let's let's do it accelerate. Let's solve for um, acceleration first. So 842 newtons equals the acceleration times 73. And so we divide by our 73 kilograms. So 842 over 73 equals our total acceleration. And so we, when we solve that, we get the acceleration equals 11.53 meters per second squared. We know that gravity equals 9.8. Eight, so we got to subtract out gravity, so 11.53 minus 9.8, and we get, we'll bring down our 3, we get 7 and 1, 1.73 meters per second squared. Now, is that what we would have gotten from, uh, from dividing 126.6 by 73? The, the answer is yes, we would have gotten 1.73 four two six five seven five three four two yada yada so it, it's essentially the same thing so if you get that great 